My philosophy as a lawyer, I sort of developed with my partner, Frank, and we see ourselves as problem solvers. Um, the practice of law is, is a great academic field, and there are lots and lots of interesting questions. But when you translate those things to the real world, a lot of lawyers have problems seeing the forest for the trees. And so they concentrate on some particular legal theories or they concentrate on actions that they believe were inappropriate and forget to focus on what the ultimate goal is, which is to solve your client's problem. Frank and I recognize this together early, early on in our practice within the first five years or so. And so what we try to do is we try to, um, we try to get to the bottom of what needs to be done to solve our problems. And just because there's, there are some things that we could complain about along the way that might be correct and we might prevail on those, that doesn't mean we want to pursue those things and complain about those things if they're not going to help our client's case move forward. The, the other thing we try to do that I think is unique, and, and Frank has his own set of talents, and I have my own set of talents and weaknesses, and Kim's come along um, since Frank and I began practicing, and I think the same thing's true of Kim, although I have to say Kim, in a lot of respects, is the total package. But we try to minimize our colleagues' weaknesses and maximize our colleagues' strengths. And because we've been together so long, we have a really good perspective on what those are. And if a case is, is difficult, if it's uh, a big case, if, if the problem is something that is uh, something for our client that we just know we've got to win, then we're gonna work as a team to make that happen. And rather than letting our egos get in the way and try to handle things on our own. And that's our philosophy here at the office and that's my philosophy when I practice.